let's go. Doing it on the fly. Hi, everyone from YouTube. W's in the chat. Look at us. We're streamers. <laughs> okay, let's dive in. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, there's already 124 of you here, 125. Uh, again, I'm so grateful uh, for you guys being here. Uh, we're going to be covering quite a bit today. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. There's going to be more details, obviously, after this one. I don't want to sit here uh, and keep you guys here absolutely all night. Uh, so I'll brief over what we're going to be doing in Q1 and Q2. And then uh, Q3 and 4, I will do a combined one that's a bit shorter. Then we're going to go into a more uh, Mirai broadly. And then we're going to go very specific into Pegasi. There's going to be two events here tonight. One coming from Daisy, which is going to be a, a, in the event announcement specific chat. Uh, the chats that you see on the right hand side, um, well, on this stream, uh, is specifically for this stage so i can't see anything in the general chat please do it your your comments specifically on this stage that's where i'm looking at the moment um uh je i see the the q a that i was meant to do right i, I actually filmed the q a and i hope it's not messing up this time but i filmed the q a and my voice was breaking every two seconds you, you couldn't even hear the audio so i I couldn't upload it. I, I apologize for that one, but uh, I'm going to cover some of the questions here uh, today, and you guys are going to have the chance to get um, some PGX anyway. All right, let's dive in. So let's have a look at the 2024 roadmap. Let's just uh, cover it straight away, and then this is probably where a lot of your questions are going to fester, and uh, you can hold those questions for the Q&A section um, right at the end, and I'll try to cover all of them. So Obviously, guys, Pegasi is actually entering the strongest market that I think we've seen in two years, possibly three years. This market may be bigger than the one that we experienced back in uh, the early 2021, 2022 Game 5 bull run. This one looks much broader. This one looks much potentially much bigger. And honestly, we couldn't have chosen a better time to launch a game. You guys know that uh, the last year, at least, half of 2022 and all of 2023, was not an ideal time uh, for anyone to launch a project. But now I'm sure that you guys can see the energy. It is moving. Things are going up. The whole market is feeling bullish. So it's a great time. Now, in Q1, what are we going to be releasing? So we're already in Q1, to be clear. We're, we're past halfway uh, of Q1. We're already uh, actually almost just one month left in Q1. And we've released the Rush Races Assets website. So that was the first early thing that we did need to release. We've obviously done the first swap campaign, right? Uh, and this is, we expected it not to be as popular because uh, not many people knew it was going to happen. We That's why we also limited it. I think there was approximately uh, over over 10,000 Pega um, either burnt or transferred. It actually could have been significantly more than that. Um, transferred or swapped for uh, their the, uh, the chests. So the first one was a success especially when there wasn't much awareness about it. But now we've held the second one and we've just released as well the Rush Races Assets website. So that's where you guys can see your Rush Races Assets uh, on the dashboard, right? That's all the assets that you're holding. They're separate from the version one assets. And what we've also released is that early founding, uh, founding owners private test, the private alpha test, I guess you could call it, where some of the founding owners who wanted to play are actually playing one of the Pegasi versions right now, testing it out, sending us bugs, uh, and of course just essentially utilizing the privileges of owning uh, a founding Pega. Now, what's to come? Obviously, uh, there's a lot of big things to come, uh, and we've only just started warming up with that first swap campaign. So what we're going to be doing is releasing the Rush Races Marketplace. Uh, that's something that just absolutely needs to come of course because you guys are want to being going to want to buy and sell 
the Rush Races, so the Pegasi version 2 uh, assets. So obviously we're going to be releasing an updated marketplace specifically for that one. As well, the second campaign, um, the swapping campaign that you guys have been eagerly waiting for. We get about uh, 100 messages uh, a day asking when the next swapping campaign, why can't I swap uh, my Pega? So uh, yes, that one will be coming up now. An approximate date, expect that one to be on the, should be the 29th of February. If everything goes to plan, it should be the 29th of February. February. So please be prepared for that one. We're going to release a, an information post uh, of basically everything that you need to know. And if you don't really understand what's happening um, with the second transition or, or how to do it, you can message our customer support staff. They know everything. So whatever you need, uh, just ask them and they'll be able to answer it for you. Then we're also going to be doing the Rush Races DAP on Mirai app. So uh, a lot of you guys, there's over 5,000 active users of the Mirai app at the moment, which is uh, Mirai's native uh, wallet on mobile. Um, maybe some of you guys don't know it because you're uh, some of the OGs of Pegasi, but maybe haven't been keeping up. But we have a, a wallet here Oh, that you guys is, it's actively available in the app stores right now, right? And this is what 5,000 people are using as their main wallet at the moment. So. Uh, all of your assets, everything will be accessible inside the Mirai app just to make management super easy. Uh, as well, you're going to be able to access the marketplace through the app. So you can take basically all of the actions on mobile and the game is mobile native. So what we wanted to do is just make it so you, that you guys don't need to do anything essentially on a laptop if you don't want to or you don't have one, which makes it super, super, super uh, accessible. Of course, this is the main one. The game launch. The game launch will be happening, at least at this stage, in Q1. And we have set a hard deadline, internally at least. This is how we set it. We set a hard deadline. And if it's humanly impossible for us to release, we won't release. But uh, it's on the 28th of March. 28th of March. That's the hard release. So essentially from this coming week uh, onwards or around roughly the 1st of March, that's when things are going to start ramping up crazy. Super, super crazy. Uh, we're going to be pushing really, really hard. A lot of news, a lot of announcements, trying to get as much energy happening as we can, as you could expect. Now, after March 28th, I guess that's the game release. However, we will also have the first guild season, competitive season. To be clear, April is technically Q2, but for ease sake, let's say that early April is Q1 uh, because we did schedule uh, it just for a week roughly after release. So uh, expect at the start of Q2, so April, that the start of guild season one is going to happen. Now this is for you guys who are guilds and are owners, this is easily the biggest opportunity for guilds in Pegasi since the 2021 era. Um, in the first season of the Petopia uh, competitive season that, that we just ran, uh, over $30,000 went back to the players, not including the season rewards. So not what they were competing for, just from fees, the players and the teams, the guilds, earn over $30,000, which is huge. And that's not in tokens, that's in wrapped Ethereum or Ethereum, essentially, which is massive. Uh, and that's play to earn. And that's what we're trying to bring back. If you're not familiar with the competitive season, don't worry. Uh, we're going to be releasing a whole bunch of stuff uh, on how the competitive season uh, does work. Now, uh, we will... Oh, yes, this is a big one. This is a big one as well. So Discord's going to be huge. And that's why we're doing it here in Discord, because uh, honestly, we want to be hustling with, with you guys in the Discord community uh, primarily. Sure, there's the Twitter community and Facebook community as well, but this just feels more real. And that's kind of why we're doing this here. Uh, a big transition in 2024 um, will be Discord. So um, we're actually going to be do a, doing a community questing system. And essentially what this is going to do 
for you guys in Discord is going to reward you for taking actions across socials uh, with in-game currencies and in-game equipment that you guys can use, obviously, to hopefully get a competitive advantage. Now, you guys, what, what we want to do here is obviously you're going to be active across the socials anyway because that's just what you want to do but we want to reward you for that so you guys are able to essentially grind both inside and outside of the game and we think that's a really sick dynamic and we want to continue uh, to push that all throughout 2024 so uh, the first season of what what we would say is i guess the community questing season um will begin roughly around the same time as the competitive season it may start earlier uh, it may start earlier is um yes if you're struggling to hear me I, you guys can hear me right yeah odd okay yes if you're if you're struggling to be heard just back out and and jump back in um I would say that's the the best case scenario. Uh, so that's going to end Q1 or close to Q1. There's a ridiculous amount of stuff happening. And to be clear, Q1 has about a month left in it. So we're jamming so much stuff into Q1. And you guys are going to need to be like on top of it, 100% on top of it. If you miss anything, you will probably be at a disadvantage. And it's going to take you some time to catch up. So please just be as active as humanly possible and take advantage of the opportunities that we're trying to present within Q1 because you guys will be the early adopters of the game. Um, Daisy, now would be a great time. So what Daisy's going to do, hair reveal, I've got literally no hair under here. I'm bald. Um, Daisy, uh, what we're going to do now is post the first competition, which is going to be giving away a whitelist um, in the event announcement. So that's just above this Pegasi uh, stage. Um, Daisy is going to be posting the event in there. What you need to do is click the red button. That's all you need to do to enter. Once you enter, after 30 minutes, it's going to draw the winner. So please get in there if you did want to participate in that giveaway. All right, that one's working now. I see you guys spamming it. There's about 25 in uh, 10 seconds there. So. Uh, happy days, happy days. Listen on, listen on Binance. Damn, that's the big goal. That is the goal. All right, so that's Q1. There's a lot to cover, I know. Uh, please leave, uh, I'm sure you're going to have questions, but tr try to leave them uh, just for a little bit later so I can cover them. All right, Q2. Q2, there's also a bunch of stuff here. Obviously, with Q2, there is going to be, and it's probably going to start with, the, the third swapping campaign. That swapping campaign is going to be critical. Critical, and I'm going to get into this more later, critical to you guys leveling up in Pegasi Rush races. So Pegasi V2, the swapping campaigns, you guys really need to study the game in the early stages once it's released to understand what you want to do in that second swapping campaign. Uh, sorry, in that third swapping campaign, because you would have had two swapping campaigns before the game is released. So if you made any mistakes there or you found a strategy, um, obviously the third one uh, is going to be extremely important because the game is live, as well as the competitive seasons. I'm going to go into more detail about uh, the swapping and what to look out for um, so that you guys can make a, a more informed decision uh, on that one. Of course, at, at the end uh, of, or at the early stages of Q2, we're starting the competitive season one. Um, we're also obviously going to be ending uh, that competitive season. It's not going to last an entire quarter and it probably won't last an entire month. We might do two to three weeks. Uh, possibly we would do a month um, long competition at the start. Uh, however, we do want to make them more frequent. Uh, if you're a, a Petopia player, then you would recognize that we do try to switch it up to try to see what you guys uh, like to do best. Um, and then there's going to be the first major update of Rush Races. Now, like I said, we're releasing it roughly. The March 28 is, is our goal to release it, right? Uh, at some point, we're going to have to release a major update. That's not just bug fixes 
or anything like that. That's going to consistently happen, as you guys have probably seen from our other game. However, the first major update, and that's going to include four things. I'm going to go ahead and say two of them. You don't know what they are. The first one is the guild shop. I won't expand on that one, but it'll be important for you guys that are building a team and going to, to go ahead and compete. Secondly, it's renting. You guys know what this is. When the first competitive season comes, there won't be renting. But hopefully by the second one, fingers crossed by the second one or the third one, there will be renting and that's going to be critical on performance of the guilds. That's going to shake up the entire competitive season. The entire competitive season. PGX Tour. That's a big one as well. I won't expand on it, but expect something called the PGX Tour. And then finally, there's going to be skin perks. Skin perks is actually an interesting one. Uh, this is heavily dependent on the skin that you guys are wearing on your Pega. I'm not too sure if you guys are aware, but inside of Pegasi, there is a lot, a lot of skins. A lot of skins. I just see... Um, uh, renting, please. I don't play, I don't have guilds, just horses. Yeah, sure. And that's why we're doing it, Jay, to be clear. Uh, so we, we understand that some of you guys love to be managers and operators. We love that side of things too, and that's why we're bringing in... Uh, the renting so absolutely you guys are going to be able to for example let's say you have 50 pega in the second uh pegasi pegasi version 2 uh, rush races you can't play all 50 pega so as you could imagine uh, either you're going to use these to essentially level up that's how the system does work um however you can also rent them out and obviously try to win uh, competitions in the competitive space the dynamics i guess the balance between leveling up your pega because what we will call right now leveling up your pega from one level to the second level it does take pega you need to use pega to level up pega so there's going to be an interesting balance um and we'll leave that balance to you guys to figure out the best strategy all right Great question, great question. All right. Oh, your wallet is compromised. Um, that's a that's a tough one. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a a great point. If your wallet is compromised, luckily we're not doing a bridging transaction. You're burning and minting, so it should work. It should work. Very interesting. I hadn't considered that, Gene. <laughs> Hopefully, it worked for you. I think it will. Very cool. All right, so that's the skin perks. Um, we won't go any any further there, but again, the skins that you guys are using, uh, they are going to adjust, and that's why the meta is going to be so interesting. There's going to be a lot of things that you guys need to uh, consider. Easiest way to put it. Now, in Q2, like I said, there's going to be the first season of the community questing program. Uh, once we figure out what you guys love to do and what's great rewards and what motivates you, uh, we're going to release the second questing, community questing. Uh, and this one's probably, again, going to shake up the dynamic, uh, not even just in the competitive season for the guilds, but the solo competitive season as well. Uh, to be clear, there is going to be game modes where you guys are fighting head to head, literally head to head. Uh, and it's going to be for PGX not just in-game rewards. So pretty interesting dynamic that I'm excited for you guys to test as well. But uh, yes, it's not just a guild competition uh, situation in the second season. So again, community questing, second season, expect that one to happen. Um, we will also be doing an exclusive skin drop. So there's going to be events where there's limited edition skins that come with limited edition uh, powers, I guess you could say, skills inside of the game that we are going to seasonally release, I guess is the best way. Uh, it's not going to tie into the competitive season or anything like that, and maybe one a quarter, but do expect them. Um, similar to what you would see in MLBB, where they release a, it could be a skin collab or an exclusive skin that may be limited. It may even be an NFT. 
we also want to experiment with something. Now, this is probably one of my most favorite roadmap experiments, and I haven't actually seen it in many places. And this is going to bring us all together, and it's going to be critical, extremely critical, that we come together and try to execute this one well, because it's going to reward the founding holders. And we know there's a lot of extremely passionate founding holders out there, and, and that's the main focus. We may run an NFT sale event, a big one. And with that, those proceeds, possibly a, a majority of those proceeds, could go back specifically to the founding owners in Pegasi V2. So let's say we do uh, a, a Pega that's going to be, you know, it goes founding and then uh, dark and light Pega, for example. And we go very, very hard. We, we all rally together extremely hard and we go out there and we're like, ay, ay, ay. Listen, listen, please don't speculate on the token prices just based on what I'm saying here. Please be careful, guys. Uh, I see you guys speculating on the token, but again, please be careful. These are things that need to come in the future. We're still a little while away uh, from this stuff, all right? So anyway, just imagine this scenario. We're all banding together to try to make this as solid as humanly possible, at least the founding owners. Uh, but this is obviously going to benefit the entire uh, Pegasi community anyway. And we're going out there to try to get this to sell out. We really want to try this experiment and then... Uh, a portion of those that sales revenue comes directly back to the founding holders that own a founding in rush races. Now, not everyone is going to be transferring their PEGA into rush races because some of them have just decided uh, that, or oh, possibly have even forgotten. Uh, they've just decided that they're not going to swap them over. Uh, they may just not be in the crypto space anymore. To be clear, in rush races, the supply for founding is going to be lower than it currently is now. So a super interesting dynamic, uh, and we really want to experiment with something like that. Uh, so I'm excited to see what happens there. So possibly that's going to happen in Q2. And then we'll release the second major update probably in Q2 as well. We've got to remember that that's approximately three months. And what we want to be doing there is releasing new maps. So new competitive, different maps uh, to, to, to kind of like spice it up and keep it fresh, of course. New Pega rarities as well. This is going to increase again um, the complexity uh, of the competitive season. And then a new game mode. This is one that we... I won't expand on it too much. Again, this is... If you guys if you guys play Petopia, you will understand that in, in two months, we release seven game modes. Uh, from one up to seven. Now we... That's probably too quick, to be clear. <laughs> probably too quick. We should definitely slow it down and refine them first. However, uh, expect them to be released a little bit slower in Pegasi. However, oh, is my internet bad? Am I lagging? Hmm. All right. Bro, I think that is just you by the looks of it. <laughs> um, I actually need to get my... Uh, I just need to get my my laptop charger. Um, please give me give me one minute, team. I will be back. This is a yeah. My net is fine. Okay, one one second, one second. So sorry. I don't want it to die on us. We're alive. We're alive. I'm so sorry. We got the charger. I didn't even realize until we started. Oh, no. Incredible. This is the problem with being overseas. You're traveling all the time. I'm currently in Vietnam. I've got the wrong, I've got the wrong adapter. I'm going to have to come back in one second. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, while I'm gone, make sure that you guys are doing the event announcement. 
I'm just checking here. Oh, wow, there's a hundred of you that have already done it. All right, if you haven't done it, go to the event announcement chat right now. I know there's some new people here and click the giveaway button. It's, it takes one second to join. All right, it's gonna look very weird on the recording, but we're back in business. All right, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. We live another day. All right, yes, we were covering a lot there. All right, and again, finally in that third update, uh, the second major update, sorry, I should say, for Q2 is going to be the new game mode. That's all I will say there, but again, uh, expect it to be focused on solo and uh, guild competitive play, uh, because that's obviously where the most money will be for you guys who are playing. And this is a big one, and this is something that I see you guys talking about all the time, all the time, all the time, and this is going to probably wrap up Q2, Q2 and June, so in the middle of the year, June 30. Um, we want to be pushing hard. Obviously, what we're trying to do here with Pegasi is make it as popular as it was before, back in the old days, back in 2021. We want to push back to that level, and we think that we can. Otherwise, we wouldn't be building this, right? And in Q2, we want to be pushing for a Tier 1, if not a Tier 2 major exchange for PGX. And that's going to require, obviously, a team effort. We can't do that without a community. We can't do that without an active, loving, supportive, strong community that plays the game, right? So we need to build that super strong base and we understand that that comes from building a strong game. But at the same time, we're trying to mold the company, so Mirai, in a way that's going to allow us to hopefully, to hopefully get to that point. Uh, which exchange, of course, we, we have no idea. But ever since 2021, We've just gone with the accessibility route, which is keeping it on a DEX, not making it complicated or anything, just keeping it there so that you guys can buy and sell anytime, doing our own liquidity. However, we realize that right now there's an opportunity and we want to be pushing harder. So we're going to be going for those centralized exchanges. Uh, and of course, the goal is within Q2. It may take longer. We need to push hard. And that's something that we're going to be calling on you guys to help us. We need to be active across socials, you know what I mean? Let's go and bomb these guys uh, on, on Twitter so that they know that we exist. Show them that we're active. That would be an amazing mission. So please, in Q2, uh, we're gonna set up a campaign, absolutely, and just try to smash this. I uh, can't wait for you guys to hopefully join us on that mission. All right, and I'm just gonna brief over Q3 and Q4, uh, because it's quite far away and we'll have more details on future streams anyway. So in Q3 and Q4, obviously we're going to have some more uh, exclusive sales event. And the reason why we're doing this is trying to stimulate uh, that competitive scene to make sure that the meta isn't always the same. Um, so that should be quite exciting. Obviously the major updates, new skills um, and new maps, new game modes. Actually, there's gonna be multiple new maps within that time period. Um, Bloodline perks as well is another thing that we're going to be releasing. Uh, and beyond that, you guys already know, to be clear, these are the major general gameplay updates, but the reality is there's going to be a bunch of updates in between here. I can't even remember how many updates we have pushed in, in Petop. It is like 30 or 40, literally. There, there has been so many updates, so please, don't expect it to be like six updates in a year. There's going to be a lot, but these are just the major ones um, that I'm speaking about here. All right, all right, let me just check this uh, event. Yes, you guys are going and doing it, very good. Almost everyone's done it, love to see it. Um, there was a couple questions. Uh, possibly we can enter Mexi. Yes, you know, maybe something like that. That's what we would consider like a, a tier two exchange. Um, there's obviously tier three, tier four, tier five exchanges. So it's definitely up there, quite solid. Um, and, and accessible to you guys, especially in the Philippines. But um, we'll see, 
we don't know which, which exchange it's going to be, but absolutely we're going to be pushing on it. Let me see here. To begin season one, immediately following the game release. Um, no, it won't be straight away after season one. I mean, the difference we did with, with Pegasi, uh, like like on the day one of release, let's say the twenty the 28th of March, if, it, if we do get it out at that date, um, let's say that we do release on that date and there is bugs. Uh, of course, it's going to change the date that we release uh, the competitive season. Um, we're doing it approximately a week after. If if you know it's the game's not at the point where you guys feel that we should release it, it's likely that I'm just going to go ahead and ask you guys and be like, do you think that we should release it? Uh, and if you want us to delay it, then absolutely, because there may be bugs that you're encountering. Then no problem. Of course, we will delay it. We'll push it back a week, and then we will continue to do so until. Uh, we come to a, a consensus that we should be releasing it on that date. With Petopia, we didn't have the liberty of allowing people to play uh, a private version uh, so that they could help us test bugs. We could only do it ourselves, uh, and we pushed very hard to release it on December 1st at that point. We actually released it in an earlier version than Pegasi is now. There's been more time, more effort, more resources put into Pegasi, uh, as you could understand. So absolutely, there's... Let's get it clear. There is going to be bugs on day one. We're still releasing. We're still releasing Pegasi in an early version. It takes a long time to build a game, guys. However, however, uh, if the competitive season or the game is not ready for competitive season, we definitely won't start it um, the week after. We'll get to that point where it should be smooth enough that we can play it. So, fingers crossed. Of course, you guys are always there on the roller coaster with us anyway. All right, oh, trying to bring this in a little bit for for YouTube so you can see the questions a bit better. Um, all right, uh, and uh, I think I'm guessing you mean centralized exchange. Uh, yes, so I am in connection with with uh, Mexi. Um, I, I believe if we wanted to, we we would be able to list there. That's no problem. Um, we would also aim for something possibly higher. Than, than Mexi. Play to edge off is something that you consider absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Please expect something like that to be happening. For sure. And it may involve renting. <laughs> is it fine if you're individual player or still guild? So uh, I think it's going to be a mixture. Um, what we want to do is also make it you know, like, this is the same direction Petopia would go, of course. We want there to be individual competition and team-based competition. Uh, however, as a, as, a, as a studio, as a company, actually building a team competition uh, beyond making the game perform better, uh, it actually is easier because it's more inclusive and less load generally on, on the platform that we're building. We should be able to ship that quicker for you. Uh, doing it individually, you know, matchmaking and stuff like that can be very difficult. Uh, however, uh, Pegasi is primarily a fully PvP game, so there isn't much to do with, like, just campaign. Um, there may be some form of a campaign, but you could imagine a, uh, that it'd be a little bit different to a shooting game. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's the easiest way to put it. Um, did I miss anything there? So I guess expect both, uh, Lee. Yes, that's that's correct, Dave. I agree with you. We'll be pushing on that for all of our games. We love the idea of uh, play to airdrop. But I, I, what I love about it actually is that it increases the like the speculation. I guess you guys don't know what you're going to get at the end of that uh, play to airdrop season. So quite interesting. I do like it. All right, all right. Not much into guild. So yeah, to be clear, if you don't want to be in a in a guild or anything like that, let's say you don't even want to actively play every single day. Um, in Q2, we're going to be releasing renting. For sure. Absolutely. It's more competitive if you open in different countries. Uh, the game's going to be global. <laughs> it's not a, just a Filipino game. It's just that... Pegasi was the second largest game in the Philippines for Web3 in 2022. So we have a lot of Filipinos 
uh, who want to play the game. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go back into some of the core objectives, at least for Mirai. I need to make sure that you guys are aligned with it. And also some really strong updates that we've had, just so that you guys know what we are pushing on internally, the people building the game. And then I'm going to come back into um, more specifically to the, the upcoming Pegasi uh, things that are going to happen before Rush Races is released. I'm just checking here. So... To be clear, guys, there's seven minutes left. There's seven minutes left on the giveaway guaranteed whitelist spot. So if you just go to the event announcement section, it's just above this stage. Please make sure that you click that red button if you want to be in. There's 155 of you. There's 126 that have pushed it. So some of you, oh, it's going up now. So some of you may not have pushed that. Someone's going to win a guaranteed whitelist spot. So please, 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 please. Make sure you click that one. Someone someone just undid their click. All right, more chances for everybody else. <laughs> okay, so let's look at some of the, our company goals and objectives for 2024. Mirai Labs, the company building Pegasi. Right now, I'm on a senior hiring spree. What I want to be doing is ramping up our product productivity and speed, essentially. I wanna make sure that we can serve you guys at a higher speed. Obviously, we're not going to be an insane speed, no game studio is, but we want to be at a honestly an industry standard speed to where we may be setting the trend at how quickly updates come out. My standards are quite high. So I'll cover more on who we just hide in, in a little second. Um, actually, I'm gonna just dive into it right now. So we have three main roles that in just the last two weeks we have hired. And these are key roles for us as we come into the uh, as we come into the bull market. We want to be positioned for this. So the first one is a head of marketing. I think you guys will remember if you're an OG that I actually started as the uh, chief marketing officer here at Mirai, and after that I became the CEO. After I became CEO, I couldn't balance both. So what we've gone and done is hire a uh, head of marketing. Now, he previously worked at Mythical Games. Mythical Games is the ones that you guys will know. Uh, I think they released Blancos. They also released a game partnered with NFL, NFL Rivals. These guys are valued at like multiple billions. He was the head of marketing, product marketing there. He also was a marketing leader at Unity. You guys know Unity. He was also a product leader, a product marketing leader at Sega. S-E-G-A, you guys know Sega. I think everyone would know Sega, right? You wouldn't believe it, but these guys are still around and they're still enormous because of the IP they own. You know, they own like um, Sonic the Hedgehog and all that type of stuff, all of those games. That's Sega. So he was marketing leader there. And then Glue Mobile. Glue Mobile was actually acquired for hundreds of millions of dollars. And he was one of the marketing leader there. He's been doing this for... I believe over two decades, over 20 years. And uh, he looked at what we were building. He looked at our history. He looked at what we have coming. And he just joined us. He said, yes, absolutely, he would love to. So he's based over in San Francisco, uh, the United States. I'll be heading over there uh, in March, not too long. In about two weeks, I'll be heading to San Francisco. And uh, he will actually um, be executing everything as we come up to the release and after the release as well. So this guy is this guy is serious. That's just one of our uh, new hires. The second one is actually a head of strategy. Uh, his name's Peter, and he's also U.S. based, uh, based in California. His last company, he was they were actually acquired by LimeWire. Um, he's got young energy, hustler energy. I actually believe he doesn't sleep. I'm not sure if he sleeps. Anyway. Uh, he, he came in just about two weeks ago now and has had an enormous, enormous, enormous impact uh, on what we're producing in our outbound production. So internally, the impact has been enormous and it's only been two weeks. I can't wait to see what happens throughout the, the remaining of March, April, and after launch as well. And then the third last one that I will mention here today is actually a senior Unity developer. But why is that special? Well, this guy, he has a big history 
in Web3. Some of you guys will know the exact game that he built. There he is. There's Peter. Vixir. He's watching. He doesn't sleep. I actually... I think it's 4 a.m. where he is right now. <laughs> there he is. Everyone can say hi to him. Say hi to Peter. All right. So if you need anything, you can you can bug Peter. It's 4 a.m. where he is right now. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, so yes, the senior Unity hire, guys. This guy is a beast. Now let me start it off like this. He spent 17 years, 17 years at Gameloft. I probably don't need to say more than that, but Gameloft, it's one of the biggest game studios in the world. He spent 17 years there, all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. And then in 2020, uh, 2021 and 2022, you guys will know, you guys will know this game if you were in the original bull run of, of gaming. He hand built, the entirety of Krabada, the biggest game on Avalanche. By himself, hand-built Krabada. And he's decided, obviously, to join us. It was hot competition, to be clear. There is some big game studios here in Vietnam, especially in Web3, and you guys know them. And uh, they all wanted him. But I'm, I'm blessed to say that he came over here to Mirai because he wants to build the game with us. So there's three huge hires that we've just had in the previous month. Head of marketing, like I said, all of his previous companies are worth billions. Uh, Peter, who's here, uh, he's the head of strategy. His previous company was uh, acquired by LimeWire. I'm sure we've all used LimeWire, legally or illegally. And then finally, the senior Unity developer who spent 17 years at Gameloft and hand-built the Krabata game, which at one point was rivaling Pegasi and Axie. It was huge. But that's obviously not going to be the end of it. That's just something that we've achieved over the last month. Uh, and we plan to structure the entire team like that in 2024 major heavy hitters so that we can continue to push this stuff out for you guys and take advantage of the market that is coming here so that we can all ride it together and have a massive repeat of what we saw in 2022 2021 2022 now let's look at mirai's products obviously we have pegasi here and i've covered a lot here and i'm about to cover more but you guys are going to be interacting with Mirai products every single day. So what do we have? Mirai ID. A lot of you here, maybe all of you here, will have a Mirai ID. It's if you have Mirai app or have played Petopia, you will have a Mirai ID. And also on Mirai app, we're going to be releasing a whole bunch of updates on that. Basically, anything EVM, the dApp stores, any dApps, you guys are able to use it right now. So there's going to be a huge focus on expanding Mirai app, bringing new products and new services in, trying to make it that all-in-one app that you guys don't need anything else. And it's gonna work with all of our partner games as well. We also have Mirai Chain. Please don't forget Mirai Chain. Probably one of the most important products, if not the most important product from Mirai beyond our games. This is the, the basis of everything. And this year, our goal is to bring a minimum of 10 games onto Mirai Chain. Specifically mobile, but there may be non-mobile games there as well, because a lot of non-mobile games want to take advantage of our uh, infrastructure. Right now, we have been holding back. There's a couple of games that have reached out, but we've said now is not the right time. But do expect that to start happening April, probably around April. Uh, you'll start to see us pushing much further with early stage announcements and then eventually integrations, the releases of them onto Mirai Chain. I'm going to discuss some benefits of Mirai Chain for holders uh, in a little bit just after this. So that's some of the Mirai products right now. Another one that we have that you guys have interacted with is shards. This is actually Guild Tech. Now, Guild Tech will become Shards, just a name change, fundamentally the same platform. 
expect in the next week or two the rebrand and the new website so the version 2 of the dashboard has actually been built and expect the rebrand to come out as well the team has been hustling on this Peter and Avery uh, non-stop have been hustling shards now this is a big alpha this is a huge alpha and basically no one knows about this but shards is actually an SDK, which essentially means that other game studios are able to integrate this into their game. And we've signed partnerships with six game studios in literally the last one and a half weeks that want this. That means the competitive ecosystem that you guys have already experienced and understand and know how to play is going to come to at least six more games. We want to push more than six games uh, within Q2, and it took one and a half week to get agreements, uh, like memorandums of understanding. So what we're doing here is signing uh, agreements to say that we're going to pun in the future, potentially with the Shards platform. Now, integrations, unfortunately, don't take one day, so we will need to work with them, but understand that Shards is going to be game agnostic and chain agnostic. It doesn't matter what chain they're on. It doesn't matter what game it is. It doesn't matter if it's on mobile, if it's on web, whatever. It doesn't matter. They can use Shards, and there's a huge, huge demand of it. There may be a Shards token. Possibly trading on Shards could be a good idea. But more of that in the future. We can do a Shards exclusive event. All right, and there's a lot. I mean, you guys know Petopia. If you want to do um, uh, get Petopia collabs, just join the Discord. I won't go into Petopia here. With community updates, there's something else that we want to do here, and I understand that a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys know that in 2023 we weren't very active in Discord, and that I take full responsibility for that. We're going to take that shit to another level. We're going to lift this shit up on insane mode. We are going to be having a lot, a lot, a lot of community events here, specifically in Discord and on Twitter spaces. This is where we will continuously drop alpha. We'll continuously tell you guys what's happening and as much information as possible so that you guys can make the best informed decisions going forward. There won't be any requirement for speculation. I'll be actively here. Peter will be actively here. Daisy will be actively here. JR will be actively here. The team, we will be active at all times, every single day, ready to answer your questions. Sure, definitely it may not be me every single minute because I am quite busy, but the team is absolutely going to be here and I will be at these events consistently, holding ones just like you see right now. So thank you so much for attending. This is the first one of 2024 and there's, it just continues to go up. We're at 162 people. Insane. All right. This is a big topic. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering, should I mention this now or later? <laughs> uh, airdrops. Airdrops is the talk of the town. You guys already know that we're playing around with some airdrops, courtesy of Mirai app. You already know that there will be a Petopia token, and you already know there will be play to airdrop. You, you already know that we are doing Mirai Chain. You already know that Shards is becoming its own product vertical. And you already know PGX exists and there's OGs and there's founding paper. You already know that we're bringing many games onto Mirai Chain in 2024. There will be airdrops. There will be airdrops. Big and small. Big and small. How big can big be? That's gonna 
be determined purely on how well we as a community execute everything throughout these quarters, how active we are, how present we are, and how consistent we are when it comes to trying to push big. For example, in that Q2, trying to push onto a centralized exchange, making sure that these exchanges know that we exist because we want PGX to be listed. That gives us so much more power and ability. However, you guys need to remember again that Mirai is an ecosystem. We are an ecosystem that's going to bring other game studios, not just ourselves. So what an airdrop could look like is not typically what you guys are used to at the moment. What may happen is as the Mirai ecosystem continues to evolve and grow, because it's going to grow massively this year, you could expect that there's going to be game studios that come along and just want to give founding owners an airdrop. Why? Well, they want you to come and play the game. So of course, they're going to ask you or try to convince you to come over and they may give you an airdrop. And that's the kind of deals that I want to be brokering. You know, the people who got the, oh, actually, I just remembered that the, the event possibly has ended. It definitely has ended, so I should check it. However, um, wow, that's an old, that's an old screenshot. So what I was saying here is that I'm going to try to broker deals so that some of the games that come over that maybe haven't launched a token yet or have an NFT sale for the Petopia uh, NFT holders, for the Pega founding holders, I'm going to try to broker deals so that they will provide airdrops and opportunities, whitelists, private sales for you guys because you guys are those OG supporters, the strongest supporters that were there since day one. Now, what I want to do is go quickly review who won here. Mickey, congratulations. We've got Mickey here, M-I-K-K-Y-Y, -Y, who just won the guaranteed whitelist spot for the Petopia NFT. So congratulations. That is the first giveaway. The second giveaway is actually going to be very, very soon. You might want to make sure you have Mirai app downloaded, kids. Oh, I don't know if that's real, but JR, I think that's a GIF. That's a GIF. JR lied. There is going to be a Nitro giveaway from memory. Is that right, Daisy? Someone, I thought, I thought there was going to be a Nitro giveaway. I don't remember. Might be in another one. Anyway, anyway. So yes, airdrops is complicated because we have so many ways to do it. How to qualify is going to be different every time, but trying to bring value is the best way to do it. Make yourself known, be present, be active, participate. That's always going to be the number one way that you can almost guarantee that something will come towards you. Now this leads me into those founding holders benefits. You already know, like I just said, this is not just an NFT project. Mirai has expanded beyond that and we are an, an entire ecosystem trying to bring value to our holders. And that, that comes to us being able to broker deals. So obviously that's gonna be a huge focus for us this year. Beyond that, the game itself is obviously going to prioritize uh, trying to bring benefits, interesting benefits to the, to the founding holders, right? Uh, that's always been the mission and that's always what we've tried to do. I'm not sure how much I should expand on this because there's, there's always going to be new ideas, but uh, I've already given you an example, so I'll do it again for the people who are new. We may do an NFT sale for Pegasi, and with that NFT sale, we will, oh yes, also the quiz night, the quiz night, please Make sure that you are you are there for that uh, because there is going to be giveaways and prizes. That's an important one. That's an important one. So yes, please join that. I see that going crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Like I said earlier, if we do this NFT sale and we all gather together and we push hard for this, what we want to do is see if we could get the uh, a percentage of those proceeds go back to the founding holders who are in the second version so only the founding pega in in rush races this is just a benefit of being a founding holder and this is an, this is an experiment that mirai wants to try if that works then of course we're going to continue to do that in the future trying to provide benefits in 
multiple ways. Hmm. 41 already. All right, beautiful. So yes, please understand that beyond just in-game benefits and all that type of stuff, NFT sale, you guys are just... <laughs> All right, should I, should I repeat this? Maybe some of you guys missed it earlier. We want to run an experiment here. We want to run a, a potential experiment with Pegasi. And we're going to try to bring everyone together in this and push hard. This may happen in Q2. If we think that this is the way that we do want to go with it. The reason for this is that we want to see if there is a way for us to all band together, push hard and obviously bring more people into the game by selling NFTs, uh, giving those NFTs really interesting benefits inside of the game, but at the same time, share the revenue that was generated from the NFT sale back to the founding holders as another benefit for holding those NFTs. And we have seen it done in some other projects successfully, and we think this is quite an interesting mechanic that we want to try as well. So hopefully that summarizes it. Details on that uh too early too early i won't expand beyond that but it does sound very very fun i don't know if that's a real code in there it may be a real code for mary app maybe someone wants to put that and try to redeem their lucky money <laughs> all right staking Staking, this is a big one. You guys already know that they're staking. We just ran the staking event. We did a private sale. Um, Ruby, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't have to do the, you don't have to buy the NFTs. We're trying to bring in new players here, right? You don't have to buy the NFTs if you don't want to. They can definitely buy your existing NFTs if they want a founding Pega. Uh, these NFTs that we would be releasing would just have different perks, different benefits, uh, possibly different skills. And, and for new players. And some people love collecting. I mean, you may not want to buy another NFT, but there is many people who want to buy another NFT. That's just how it is. Um, that's why the marketplace, even right now, the marketplace is still getting sales. <laughs> all right yes let's go into staking real quick let's go into staking all right so yes you guys already know that we just ran staking and staking is still active but it won't last forever uh, this is a temporary staking we will do another staking in the future which will be a different mechanism however Staking has two parts, two benefits. Uh, you obviously have the APY. So when you stake it and you lock it for a certain period of time, you're going to get bonus PGX. Uh, so if you do feel like staking it, then absolutely, you can go to just the staking website right now. Um, one of the team, please put the staking website in the comments. If someone does want to explore it, there is a lot of PGX, over half, I think over half a million dollars um, being staked there uh, actively right now. So. If you did want to, absolutely, you can go there. Oh, it's cold. And stake it uh, if you like. At the same time, like I said, the staking will probably change. And when we end this, I don't know the exact date. You could estimate that it would probably be maybe towards the end of March or sometime in April. And the reason we want to do that is that we want to bring it over to Mirai Chain to where it will assist in the pairs. And that'll be a little bit of, oh, what the, God damn, that photo scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> damn. All right. All right. I don't even know what I was talking about. How did the mods not pick that up? That woke everyone up. Holy shit. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, obviously, mods, JR's just laughing. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, Vaz, man, that scared the shit out of me. God damn. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. That totally distracted me. Let me look here what I was talking about. Oh, yes, staking. Yes, we want to bring it to the trading pairs on Mirai Chain as it becomes far more popular and we start pushing Mirai Chain. So, 
uh, yeah, um, that's likely where it's going to head. As you guys could expect, that's going to be a lot more dynamic and a lot more fun. It makes a lot more sense. The current staking is really a bonus to reactivate you guys, get you coming in, get you thinking, looking at your PGX. Uh, but that one won't last forever. Uh, only a couple more notes here, like six more notes. Uh, we've been through a lot, and then um, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the giveaway. Uh, the the airdrop now this is not everyone there's 170 of you here more than I expected um, so you're gonna have to be quick and hopefully hopefully we're ready for your traffic we're ready for your traffic this time <laughs> yeah someone hit me with a v2 skill damn hit me with, with the stun skill I blame JR anyway all right let's have a look here at the swapping campaign dates swapping campaign dates now we have the second swapping campaign coming up that one's going to be on approximately the 29th of this month so five days away basically in no time you don't have long what do you need to do and what to expect during that second swapping campaign if you didn't participate um if you didn't participate in the first one so Four converted chests in the first one, I believe you were limited to s four. Four or six, I think it was four. However, in number two, it will be limited to eight per wallet. Eight. Swap of the old Pega V1 into two, V2 into rush races. That is now going to be limited to eight per breed type per wallet. So again, uh, this is double or at least more than the original version. There's going to be more activity. There was over 10,000 Pega uh, converted into chests or Pega in the first swap. And this one, I believe, could be up to double or more because we're getting messages all the time. So again, the limits are going to be eight chests, eight Pega. Beyond that, Oh, looks like K-Dot gave you guys possibly one PGX donation. Airdrop, very nice. <laughs> Beyond that, you will be able to transfer unlimited viz uh, and exchange item assets into points, an unlimited amount. Um, so there's no limit there. The third swapping campaign will follow, but that'll be after the game release, likely. But you actually have 12 that you can do for your converted chests. Um, that's per wallet. The swap to old Pega, this will be eight, possibly 12 as well, uh, depending on what we look at the economy. The reason we're doing it limited here is to make sure that it doesn't get swamped, over flooded, and you guys make decisions that you don't want to make because you don't know the meta and you don't know the best strategy. We actually see a lot of people converting only Pega, but they don't realize that you need chests. You need the items in the chests, otherwise you're going to be restricted. So only Pega is not a wise decision. Luckily, we restricted you. So you can, uh, now with your remaining Pega, make a better decision. And on, on the fourth one, that may be a decent a bit down the line, maybe after April, January, April, March, April, probably in May or at the end of April, that's going to be unlimited. Unlimited. You can swap absolutely anything and everything all at once for whatever you want. But that will end after seven days. And then it's done. That is all of the swapping campaigns. So we're giving it a lot of time to make sure that the guys who aren't paying attention begin to pay attention again, and we could expect some crazy chaos. And that means all of the competitive seasons are going to be different every single time because more people are transferring different strategies, more Pega in circulation. It's going to get insane. So the first competitive season, second competitive season, all the way until the last swapping has happened, is going to be extremely dynamic. So expect it to be crazy chaos. Now I need to stress the point why 
why the converted chests, so converting to chests instead of Pega, is important and you shouldn't do all Pega. Firstly, you guys will have a lot of Pega in V2 if you do it only to Pega, but you won't have enough parts or cards to level up your Pega's skills or your Pega's level or even awaken your Pega. There's a lot of vertical progression in rush races in V2. So if you don't have that equipment, easiest way to put it is that your peg is going to remain at a lower level and you may need to buy it from someone else or it's going to take you far longer to upgrade. Those, those chests are extremely important. Those chests, they, what they do is essentially drop parts and cards and that's going to help you compete level up do everything that is fundamental to this process here and to be clear those chests you don't need to pay viz to convert you can convert to a chest for free so if you don't want to pay oh my gosh someone brought up my day one video holy let me see this when's this from holy moly <laughs> wow I look different. I'm not a nerd with glasses anymore. Or maybe I am. Still a nerd, just no glasses. Crazy, crazy. Some big announcements like that are soon to come, guys. Anyway, this is just between us now. This is the tight knit community. It looks like so many OGs here. You guys remember it. <laughs> so happy. Okay. Again, those converted chests in. In the second swapping campaign, just use as many as you can. Please don't ignore the converted chests to the chests in general. And if you want more detailed information, the white paper has everything uh, there. And of course, our customer support guys, they can help you as well. Uh, possible price on the NFT sale, it's way too early for that. We're not sure. Uh, we obviously want to maximize. No one play that video. Don't play that video. Be careful. We want to maximize what we can get back to the founding owners. So the more, the bigger the sale, the better it is for the founding owners. I ain't opening that either. I don't know what's under that spoiler. I'm scared of you guys. Sending the craziest shit ever. All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna open it, we're recording this. I don't wanna go to jail or something. All right, now, I think, Oh, there's actually a really, really cool thing uh, that's going to be coming up. This is the mass Pega take back. Uh, with the conversions, like the, the swapping campaigns, um, some of you guys found that it was difficult, a bit difficult to, you know, you're taking it back from renting. Like all of your Pegas were probably still on renting or in the marketplace, right? And you want to swap them over, but you need to take it back like one by one. I'm bold. One by one we will allow you guys to basically take all of them back at once. This is an update that we're going to hopefully bring, not sure by the second one, definitely by the third or the fourth one, um, just to make your life easier. Because some of you guys have a thousand Pega, literally, uh, and taking them back and then doing everything else, absolute headache, so we understand. All right. How is there still 173 people here? You guys are insane. So happy for it. Can you convert your golden viz into a chest? Uh, from memory, I think it needs to be um, your locked viz, the locked viz inside of the game. Um, wait. Oh, your your viz into a chest. Oh, no, no, no. So you, you convert your pega into chest, to be clear. Um, yes, Vaz has the idea. Unfortunately, Vaz, they won't listen to us. Um, anyway, I think now's a good time to do a quick Q&A, and then I'm going to, wow, incredible picture of me. Um, and then we're going to do the airdrop, do the airdrop. All right, please drop your questions here, and I'm gonna answer them as, as best as I can. Converted Pega to point is possible. Converted Pega to points, oh, this, a lot for me for to remember off the top of my head. Uh, converted Pega to Point Daisy or JR, can you please help um, my bro? Sorry. 
uh, I don't want to tell you something wrong. Um, I get the points. Points plus viz equals chest. Yes, that's correct. Um, he's talking about online book. Here's here's the pricing. If you guys want to do the the swapping, to be clear, uh, we we have all of the pricing and you can know all about it. Yes, there will be renting on V two Ruby. There will be. There will not be in the first like competitive season for an estimated timeline, but in the second competitive season, we're hoping to have renting there. If not the third, uh, but sometime probably in uh, mid Q two is when we expect to release a renting, um, and that's when things are really going to ramp up crazy, especially especially in guilds. I land in so many of your guys' DMs. What are you talking about? I literally talk to like 50 people consistently from the Pegasi community. <laughs> would holders of multiple founding pegas get bigger airdrops? Yes, it would go like per founding pega. It wouldn't go per wallet. Uh, that that was the, the idea here. Now, to be clear, this is for a specific wallet. Um, I shouldn't, a, a specific airdrop. My idea for the NFT sale was that it is based on per founding pega, not per wallet. But in the future, it may be dictated based on per wallet for different airdrops, for different events. So uh, please don't get it confused. I, I just meant that for the NFT sale, if we do it in the future, um, the founding pega, how, let's say you own 10, you would get 10 times uh, someone who owns one. That's the idea. For just investors, what they can get. Uh, you you want to be competitive. To be clear, Jay, uh, this is if you guys are expecting the same system that you saw back in twenty twenty one, it's not coming back in any game. It just doesn't work, and we learned that. So, what you want to be doing here is making sure that you understand the meta of the game, and you want to be competing. If you're not competing, you find people that you trust that you can rent to that will compete for you and you guys can split whatever it is uh, that you're earning in all of the different ways uh, that you can earn whether that's a competitive guild season competitive solo uh, trying to win the play to airdrop uh, seasons whatever it is you know trading on the peer-to-peer -peer market i don't know and the shards there's so many things that you can focus on and it's entirely up to you you could do all of them you can do one Will there be a token for Mirai or is it PGX? PGX use case. So there will be a Mirai token, there will be a Shards token, there's a Petopia token, there's a PGX token, as you guys could understand. That's some alpha, and I haven't shared that very far. Uh, timelines, I don't want to give you timelines. Um, but yes, there will be. Uh, in Twitter, I'm really bad at Twitter. I, I admit, I'm sorry. I barely checked that. Prize pool reveal for Pegasi Rush Races. It's going to change every time, of course. However, uh, for the first season, um, I don't know if that's if that's finalized yet, to be honest with you. But um, yes, Coach Rev, I, will, I, will, I don't know off the top of my head right now what we had decided. I don't think it's decided fully. Uh, it's still a little while away. Y'all are crazy. One million PGX. You're insane. <laughs> oh, for T for for like selling NFTs. Yeah, great, great question here. Um, why would we mint the NFT on the Ethereum network, like for the Petopia NFT, right? So the reason for that, guys, is liquidity. You want the ability to buy and sell and you want volume and you want accessibility for people with money to buy and sell easily because friction usually will prevent people from buying and selling. Now, Mirai Chain has low gas, but it doesn't have many users like the Ethereum Chain. The Ethereum Chain essentially has everyone as a user because it's the base layer really for everything. So if we wanted to do an NFT sale and hold NFTs there to ensure that it is the best chance for it to sell out 
you would sell it on the Ethereum chain because that's where the biggest whales are. That's where the most uh, active money is. At the same time, you as an owner, if you're selling it, you want the most buyers. You want to be the place where there is the most buyers. That's the Ethereum network. So really we're doing this to make sure that you guys are able to buy and sell on a network where there is active money. And it just increases the chances of success overall. And it's still playable in the game, to be clear. It just needs to sit in the wallet. That's it. So if you have it on your Mirai wallet, it's on the Ethereum chain, Avalanche chain, Mirai chain, it doesn't matter. We know that you own it because it's in your wallet. How many Petopia NFTs have been sold? So over 80% have been sold. Uh, we're probably not going to push for that final 20% until, well, at, I, I believe at least 10% of it is reserved for the public sale. So we'll push up towards 90% throughout the end of March, very selective on the communities that we do work with and how much we give away, um, sell, I should say. Uh, and then the public sale will be the final 10%. But basically, it's sold out up to 80%. Am I, like, really far behind here? Damn. Uh, what is shards? Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Shards and Guildtech, same thing. Shards will be a rebrand, and it will go very, very big. We're going to push very big. <laughs> Corey token. I don't think anyone would buy that. Kaloi. PGX is Pegasi stone, right? So it's impossible for Pegasi to be everything representing on, on Mirai. Right now, actively it is. And at least for, well, I don't know when we're going to release Mirai token, to be honest. Uh, we don't have an exact timeline. So at least in, until that point, it'll be the, the gas token on, on Mirai chain, as it always has been. But the core utilities are always going to come from the flywheel within Pegasi. Uh, that has always been the main focus here. Bigger or smaller prize pool than Pertopia? Uh, it... Pertopia is one now, sorry. I've got so much stuff to remember, I apologize. But I'd say whatever the Pertopia one is now, I guess you would say it could be very similar uh, to that one. Yes, absolutely. Could be bigger, could be smaller, but I doubt it would be smaller because uh, we have the ability with, with PGX um, it makes it much easier to distribute to you guys. Uh, so definitely, um, I think we could do an equal one, uh, at least for the first season. But to be clear with you guys, when we start releasing the renting and the um, play to airdrop type stuff, that's when things are going to ramp up in the early stages. I think we learned our lesson. Everyone who played Petopia in the early stages knows it was very frustrating when you're competing with bugs. Um, even now, even now, it's quite frustrating, so let's not push too crazy um, at the start and build up as we build the game as well. Sorry, guys, I think... What is going on here? I went up. Am I... What? Okay. Um, oh, wait. Where are we? All right. We're here. Uh... If you don't swap to the next one, we're just using a new standard of NFT in, in the next one. Like it's a new NFT. So if you don't swap, it's not compatible with the new game. So you just swap to the other one. Or you can sell it. It's entirely up to you. Any leak videos? Not on this one. Not giving a leak video on this one. If you want to see gameplay, absolutely you're able to see gameplay. Some people are playing it right now. So you can just ask them. Um, yes, so if you're already playing now, if you're one of the early testers, your, your, your Pega will reset. You don't get a head start like that. <laughs> For sure, definitely not giving you a head start. You need to start from the ground up. <laughs> it's possible, Ruby, it's possible. We need to design it in a way, because we already have the token released, right? We need to design it in a way that's uh, beneficial to everyone, and, and it makes sense. Um... But yes, I would love to do it. I love the idea of play to airdrop, super fun. Will there be breeding in V2? Uh, it doesn't make sense. It functions in a different way. Um, so breeding, that type of stuff just doesn't make sense. 
Petopia season two, yes, good question. <laughs> After season one. <laughs> um, it is paused, I guess, right now. Uh, but the ban wave will be coming. The team is working this weekend. Uh, you guys just saw that the package was was approved by the App Store. So now we have a bit of work to do uh, to do some analysis. And then uh, the ban wave uh, should be next week. And then, yes, the competitive season will be underway again. Ezekiel. <laughs> the D is strategizing for V2. What a beast. Calloway, I answered you already, unless I'm super far behind. Dang, I look like JB. What is this? <laughs> what? Who? How do you even find that? Insane. Um, can we have API again for devs to use? Uh, Dave, I'm... Not at the early stages, to be clear. That's not going to be a focus. We just want to primarily focus on getting the game good. Um, and then that side of things, you know, there might be already some some ends open that you guys can try to use, but uh, it won't be a... It won't be an early stage thing, to be clear. Uh, T, yes, we are pushing for, so some of you guys who are new here, um, we are going to be pushing for a centralized exchange in Q2. We're gonna have to band together all of us on that one, absolutely. Uh, it won't be easy. Definitely will not be easy. I just realized 175 messages. Oh, all right, I'm just gonna power through this one. It's not gonna be easy, but we're going to be pushing for a tier one or a tier two centralized exchange for PGX in Q2. But I'm gonna need us, it's gonna be, it's gonna be extremely difficult to be clear. And we're gonna need to band together to push as hard as humanly possible to get up on those centralized exchanges. And if we can do it together, uh, then yes, absolutely. Um, we should be able to uh, get onto something decent. Um, all right, let me push through here. Oh my God. I should do another dance. Don't tempt me. I am like the avatar. Bald as hell. Someone got banned for something, I don't know, or, or muted. There I am, Barangay Tanod, I think that's how you say it. I think now everyone's just making fun of me. Oh my God, Majestic, you crazy. Will there be Viz utility in V2? Yes, of course there's going to be Viz and PGX utility in V2. There's going to be a lot that you need to use Viz for uh, in V2. And again, please understand that it is the in-game currency that's like the basis of why it exists. You're gonna to have to spend it and it's going to get burnt. We don't take Viz for, for profit. We take Viz either to utilize it or it gets burnt. Uh, just in the first one, um, in the, in the first event, there was like a hundred million viz burnt or something like that. It was huge. Um, so yes, uh, there will be a lot of viz utility. You've said before that Mirai has funds to last for at least five years. How are we doing right now in terms of funds? So for, I'm assuming that was a little while ago, probably a year, probably, probably in the early stages, yes. Um, obviously we expand, so as you expand, the runway shortens naturally. It's just runway is based on projections. So if you have 40 staff and your and your runway is five years and then you go up to 80 staff, it's probably going to be two and a half years. That's just how it is. Um, so we're at uh, 80 staff at the moment and you could, without a fundraise, without making more money, you could estimate that it would be a year and a half if we did nothing uh, at this point. However, of course, we're have the petopia sale there is things that i won't mention here but that is that is great for mirai of course where petopia the game itself has in-app purchases uh pegasi has in-app purchases so we're finally releasing products as of december 1st after like a year and a half of basically we were in stealth so you can't release products you can't make money it's just how startups are but uh, we're at the point where we can release all of these products and that's that's basically what 2024 is, guys. Insane, insane expansion, insane action to get to that point, uh, Agent. So thank you, Agent, for, for the great question. Updated moves. Uh, I don't have updated moves. How to join shards. Uh, how to join the shards 
a private channel. Uh, there is a small community of shards testers um, that we speak to to try to get some help. So if you did want to join, uh, you can just reach out to us. Um, thank you, Adrian. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes, there will be a player to play a marketplace iron horse. Absolutely. When the NFTs are released, you will. It'll be on Blur, OpenSea, and the native marketplace. Um, all right, let me check. Uh, I'm gonna move over to the giveaway in a second, so please, please prepare yourself. Please prepare yourself. It's gonna be a link. It's gonna be a link, to be clear. Have you considered changing the tokens required for guild tech shards to PGX for Pegasi guilds? You mean like creating a guild? If you mean creating a guild, no, because uh, the creation, like each game is gonna configure it different, but shards primarily is three different mechanics it's uh players a, a route for players to make money sustainably a, a route for guild founders to make money sustainably and a route for game studios to make money sustainably uh and the balance is difficult uh, and and fundamentally it does need to revolve around money that can be converted into us dollar so that there isn't any adverse effects uh, on the community so uh, the rewards pool is a little bit different when it comes to creating a guild trading fractions all that type of stuff it's likely to always just be like a usdc or an eth or something of the sort um ruby i'm recording this i think so yes expect there to be a recording and you can just go back maybe someone will have a summary all right um all right should we do the giveaway? Should we do the airdrop? Should we do the link? Should we do the link? Tell me. Tell me when. Tell me when. Should we do it? Should we do it? All right. Oh, damn. All right. Everyone's ready. More. More, 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 more messages. Let's go. Let's go. I've got to create the link. <laughs> I'm smiling too much on my face. It's not scanning my face. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Let's go. I love this mechanic so much. Let me see here. Let me, let me see here. Hmm. I got to do some math. I got to do some math. Mm-hmm. 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 Let me see. Damn. All right. That should work. Let me see here. And then, so that's that much. All right. Yeah, you guys might get two PGX total. <laughs> Give me, actually, should we make this really fun? Oh, no, I can't. I can't make it super fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to make it, uh, I wanted to make it high risk where you can get one PGX or hundreds, but I won't do that. All right, let me see here. So let's say, let's say the math on this one. Uh, Tassio, I'm not too sure if you noticed, but this season, the, the Petopia season goes up to like 15 or 20. And you get, we haven't told you what you get, but it's solid in-game items. There is a extremely strong reason for you to be competing in the top 20 guilds. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry guys. Um, let me see here, so. One. All right, I might need to do something here. 
I might need to do something here. I'm going to make two links. I'm going to make two links. And to be clear, it's going to be impossible for you to redeem both at the same time. And I'm going to post it. I will post it in... Should I post it in this in this chat here or should I post it in the event announcements? Please tell me. <laughs> event here, here, event. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. I have to do it in the event one, guys. It's going to be in the event chat purely because uh, you guys can't post in the event chat. Um, I think only I can post in the event chat. Daisy, can we please make sure that the event chat is open to everyone, um, but they can't write a message in it. All right. Let me create one more. You know what I love? Even when you need to pay gas on Mirai Chain, it's like 0 0.0002 PGX. Like it's basically free anyway, even if you need to pay gas. So insane. All right. All right. We have... Where is it? Huh? Wait a sec. I think I maybe did it wrong. Sorry, sorry. It's not my face. It is my my beanie has made it look like made my phone not scan. All right, I need to do it again. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to uh oh, I'll go back to here so everyone can see their ch I can see everyone's chats. Just wait a second, just wait a second. I'm sorting it out now. I just need to create unique links and I didn't want any any leaks happening or anything like that. So I'm just creating some some links here. And it should All right. All right. I've done it right this time. I've done it right this time. So we'll give it two minutes, two minutes. Everyone, you need to go into the event announcements chat. Looks like you guys are telling your friends about this. So, um, so the the amount of audience is going up. <laughs> uh, why is that not working? Straight to your dome like whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, first code is prepared. Now for the second code. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Yes, where Caramel is saying, right? Click on that link. Yeah, I'm a blink. You already know the vibes. Come on, everyone. Who do you think I am? Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, you need to click on one of the links and let's pray right now. Pray that it isn't going to get overloaded. It, it shouldn't, but uh, this is a new system that we've built and last time it got very overloaded. We actually got attacked. Someone purposely saw the date, the, the time that I posted and tried to mess with our stuff. So it should be good this time. I'm about to post it in the events announcement section. Two links, pick one. This is your chance and you'll get you'll get a little gift lucky money it is a random amount it's like the red slips that you get for lunar new year event announcement section five four three two one it's in there all right good luck everyone let me know if you've got it Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Tell me how much you got when you get it. I want to see. I hope it's working. <laughs> Happy New Year. Fully redeemed? No. What? Did I screw up? Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> all right, I'll fix it. Stop yelling at me. I'm going to have to call in an emergency favor here from, I'm deleting this one. I think I, I think I sent the wrong, I don't know why mine's not working. All right, Daisy, Daisy, I'm calling in an emergency here. Wait, 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 don't yell at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. I got you. Prank. Prank. <laughs> Daisy. All right. I'm messaging you, Daisy. At least you get it. At least you know how to... Yeah, it was just a trial. It was just a trial. <laughs> it's funny because it wasn't a prank. I just... For some reason, have no idea why the shit... I can't do this properly. Anyway. It was working the other day. Um... All right, Daisy, so sending you the instructions, Daisy, uh, two codes, um, this, and then, um, then all right. Now you can stop yelling at me. We have it on, um, we have Daisy on the task, always here to save us. So we're gonna need to get a couple seconds here. Sorry. The, the, the audience keeps rising, God damn it. It's more and more competitive. Not everyone's gonna get one to be clear. So you do need speed and it is based on luck. And yes, we will have another, oh my God, it's so cold. We will have another countdown. My head is warm, my body is freezing to death. Um, all right, Daisy's on it. Please make what short? Um, we're going as quickly as possible. We're having some technical difficulties. It is the story of my life. I think you guys know that. However, we are getting there because Daisy's saving my butt. I think, uh, 
I think I should have prepped the code. It's going to be posted in any minute. Haley, stop yelling at me. Someone tell Haley that everyone was just definitely pranked. And I didn't screw it up. It'll be in that, yes, where Ren just posted. In the uh, event announcement section. That's where it's going to be. Everyone is waiting in there. And then I definitely pranked everyone with invalid codes. That's absolutely what I did. Maybe. Yes, it'll be a new code. Of course. <laughs> no, it's not the same code. You know what would suck? If it wasn't working right now. <laughs> we would have to do it again. <laughs> when Corey long hair, should I do a hair reveal? I can't get my beanie back on if that's the case. Bald. I went more bald today. Yes, we're always open to suggestions, eh? For sure, we'd love to hear it. Avatar, yes. I haven't watched it. Should I watch it or no? React to a message? Yeah, makes it still cold here. Where's Francis? Francis? <laughs> Who's Francis? <laughs> Does anyone know Francis? Uh-oh. My dancing is back. Collect all of the wallets, then airdrop. I mean, we could do that uh, if the system doesn't work. Uh, we will do some manual, some manual labor here. Shout out PH Baritan. All right, we have some codes. We have some codes from Daisy. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. We have one code and then I screwed up again. I didn't send enough, so I will send. Wow. Is that real? Damn. Was that a real? All right, sorry, Daisy. Why you don't hold enough, Daisy? That's another good question. Hmm? Why? Oh, I see. Look at Pete's out here just doing giveaways in the chat with, uh, with um, premium. Should I do one? How do I do it? How do I? Daisy, I just sent more. Um... I wish I could just gift you guys Nitro right here. All right. Wait, guys, we might have an issue here. Um, we might have an issue on the gift card thing. Um, you're in the middle of me working. Welcome.
<laughs> Settings Nitro Gift Nitro. You guys want a Nitro? Should I do a Nitro giveaway? Settings Nitro. Where is that? What? Nitro? Nitro. What the heck? I needed to turn off streamer mode. Gift Nitro, here we go. This one. Do I need to put in a card? Oh, I do. I don't have a valid card here. I can't do, I can't do a Nitro gift. All right. Like we let me try one last thing guys before we need to go to a secondary a secondary option here. When code, yeah, good question. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I'm seeing people answer questions for the community. I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys. Don't listen to JR. Yeah. Pager PFPs, I love it so much. One of my favorites ever. Viz airdrop for swapping. We could do something like that. We could do something like that. Airdrop for pay get PFP. Five hundred stakers. I do like that idea. We actually had a uh, myself and Avery. Maybe you guys know Avery. Um, <laughs> I use Ronan. <laughs> I use Mirai app. It's actually it's not just me. It's not working for Daisy either. I should have uh, I should have um, made it before. I apologize. This is my fault. Sorry for making you guys wait. We might have to do a um we might have to do a different one. So Daisy, if you're here, what we might do is a what we'll do 
I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up the. Um, <laughs> thank you, Agent. I'm gonna open up the uh, event announcement channel, and I'm gonna give you guys sixty seconds to drop one wallet, one wallet address. Obviously, we're gonna go through this manually and see if you cheated, and you've got sixty seconds to do it. We're gonna close it after sixty seconds. Daisy, please let me know if you're ready. Uh, for this And you guys just please get your wallet address ready probably best to be your Mirai app wallet uh, And please have the wallet address ready. No, not in here. Don't send it in here. No, 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 no Not in here. It's gonna be in the hey not in here. It's gonna be in the event announcement section So I'm gonna get you guys to drop um, Huh? Gonna get you to drop your address in the say uh, in the events announcement section um, in a minute. And yes, guys, just note that we're going to be copying all of these addresses. And if you edit your address afterwards, because you put the wrong address in, that's too late. Uh, so you've got sixty seconds, Daisy. In when it hits eight oh one, well nine oh one where you are. Please open up the event announcement channel and you guys will have until 8.02 to drop your wallet in that channel. One time. If you drop it twice, I'm disqualifying you. And if you change it, it says edited, disqualifying you. All right. One time. Eight, at at 9.01 your time, Daisy, open it up. Guys, be ready. One minute and then we're going to airdrop. PGX, like the lucky money that it should have been to you guys. I said 901, but Daisy has already opened it up before 901. So guys, go into the event announcement section now and you should be able to drop your wallet. Holy, holy. All right. All right, holy, don't send it twice. Do not send it twice. Daisy, I hope you were timing a minute because you opened it up early. If you send it twice, we're disqualifying. If you're sending twice, we're disqualifying. Do not edit it either. All right, nice work, guys. Nice work, that looks solid. That is a ridiculous amount. <laughs> I think we got it all. And now whoever broke, whoever broke the gifting system has the job of hand collecting all of these wallet addresses. That is the rules. All right. I think Daisy has closed it. I think Daisy's closed it. That was a minute. That was a minute. All right, guys. I'm so sorry that, that I didn't prepare the codes earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume because Lunar New Year <laughs> is so close to ending or may have ended, we probably turned it off. Um, anyway, I apologize. Uh, I will disqualify the guys who sent it twice. If you sent it twice, you won't get it. And if you edit, you won't get it. And no, my content, of course, you can't send two wallets. Um... But yes, yeah, so we're going to airdrop all of you guys. We will announce when we airdrop you guys at PGX, uh, probably Monday uh, or something like that. Ruby, you're disqualified. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yes, thank you guys so much. We covered a lot here. There will be a replay. This is damn two hours long. Didn't plan it for it to go that long, but the giveaway broke. Probably should have checked. That's my bad. It was working yesterday. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much. Please expect your airdrop. I will message you. I'm so excited for the future. There is so much, so much stuff happening. We have so many missions. We're bringing Pegasi back. People are going to know about us. I promise you. Let's push hard. Please, guys, be there with us. Let's push hard, Let's push hard together and smash the goals. 
This is our best chance that we've had in three years. Let's do this, guys. Thank you so much. Uh-oh. Someone sent two wallets. They're exposing each other. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I will speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. We're going to do this frequently. Please be at the next one. I'll see you again soon. Airdrops every time. Let's go. We're gritty in. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. I can't believe I did that. Worst decision of my life. I forgot it's recorded. Bye-bye.